Hello, this is Dr. Says, and welcome to my review of Super Meaty Boy on the PC and consoles. This game is an indie game set in the 90s video game plot. The story's simple, Super Meat Boy has to save his girlfriend from Dr. Fetus. As you can tell, the humour is very adult yet very laid back. It's a very difficult 2D platformer. It's one of the most difficult games I've ever played, but the platforming is fair and it's very rewarding. Whenever you die from Super Meat Boy, unlike other games, you don't have to wait for the loading screen till you get back. As soon as you die, you're straight back in it again, and you can just keep, that encourages you to just keep playing and playing and playing. As you do, the levels are short, so you die, you, and you can just do it straight over again. The interesting thing is never your character moves, he leaves a trail of blood. Whenever you die, um, the blood will be left over. So it's interesting if you're dying a whole bunch of times, like the whole level is completely covered in blood. So the, it's not for the squeamish or the faint of heart. The game has precise jumps and it actually involves a lot of memorization because as you go through the game, the levels get longer. You have to remember how you did a certain jump to fit for a certain gap. Uh, and uh, pretty much um, you learn things at, the st at one stage and you have to remember how to do that later on. So it is surprisingly mentally intensive. It requires a lot of patience, but at the same time, instant reactions when required. I find I couldn't play this game in long periods because I just kept getting more frustrated. But I loved playing it in short periods, so I usually played it about between half an hour to an hour sessions. Your jumps are a bit floaty, so your character won't drop as quickly as what you'd like. So this can cause you to die a few times, like if your character doesn't fall fast enough, like a buzzsaw comes and, and kills him. I'm not sure whether this design was intentional or not uh, to give a bit more challenge. Also, whenever you're controlling Super Meat Boy, usually you have to hold in the run button at all times. So whenever you're jumping on very narrow platforms, it can sometimes be very hard to stay on the platform and you'll slip off and die. The game uses 2D sprites. The graphics are very simple. The lighting effects are nice. This game is based on a three week old flash game. So that's why the graphics are so simple, but it does work. The only thing is maybe Super Meat Boy is a little bit small. So it's not always the easiest to keep an eye on where he is if the level's very cluttered. You get a range of how uh, as you explore the different worlds, these can range from spikes to lava, pits to salt, but it, it keeps it interesting. You get infinite lives, so you don't need to worry about dying. There's over 300 levels and there's also user levels. Now the levels are very short, but the fact that users can create their own levels pretty much means you can play the game as much as you want. Also keep in mind the difficulty, make you be playing this game for a lot longer as well. I seen the music is different on Sony consoles. I don't know the music on those consoles, but the PC version has 34 tracks and has some remixes. I enjoyed the music, it was very upbeat and uh, intense and it just had that 90s vibe to it, so it was right up my alley. The game is inspired by uh, Ghost and Goblins, Mega Man, Super Mario Bros 2, you know, any hard 2D game basically. It has its own game engine apparently. You, you also die if you leave the edge of the screen, like usually on a platformer if you leave the edge of the screen, you'll just they'll come back down again or the camera will accommodate that but Super Meat Boy no. As soon as you leave the screen you're dead. The game is very simple controls, it's easy to pick up uh, but difficult to master. You're holding the run button, you jump and you can wall jump, that's pretty much all you'll ever be doing. It teaches the player by introducing new obstacles gradually through the game. I like the bosses in this game because they sort of had quirky personalities, like there was one that had a crush on Super Meat Boy which is a bit weird. <laughs> the bosses all required a lot of memorization, like you couldn't just beat them first time, you had to memorize their patterns, eventually beat them and they were the hardest part of the game but I really enjoyed the bosses. I would give Super Meat Boy an S grade. It did everything so well and there's nothing really I can fault it for.